Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2024 Ford Bronco. So we are covering all the different what we call our complete guide videos on the different trim levels for the 2024 Ford Bronco. We've come to the black diamond trim, which means in these videos, we're going to cover all the standard equipment you're going to get on a black diamond trim. Also, different packages are available, standalone options, even talk about the different drive ratios and gear ratios and such you get uh, and some of the different options for that, too. So very thorough video. Uh, so if you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that way you can stay notified next time another video uploaded to the channel. Order banks are open up right now for the 2024 Ford Bronco, including the black diamond trim. And uh, so this hopefully will help you out if you're wanting to put in a, an order, whether or not the black diamond trim is going to be the perfect fit for you. Uh, or if one of the other models will, or trim levels, and uh, we're going to cover all of them. We've already done, actually covered the Big Ben trim already, and uh, we'll cover the others after this video. So just tag along with us, and we'll try to get these out as fast as we can, probably about one a day, um, and we'll get those uh, those worked out uh, and get those and that information for you guys. Uh, so also, uh, you know. When you're ordering these vehicles, again, there's some great local dealerships. So find your local dealership, go in there, put your order in with them. We'll have some little tips for you on when you're placing that order, some things to remember and to ask your local dealer, uh, as well as if you want to put an order in with us. We have a special uh, YouTube special we'll talk about at the end of the video. There's a timestamp for that, as well as timestamps for every part of this video in the description. Just hit that more, open it up. You can see the different timestamps, uh, whether you're watching this on a mobile or if you're on a desktop uh browser there so let's go ahead and dive in and talk about some of the um mechanical features first so i want to make sure i covered everything in the intro there all right moving on we are going to use ford's website they do have it up and running a couple errors on there we'll go through those as we go through it uh so which is a, a good reason why this video is very valuable for you because we're going to cover things very extensive i like to call them a complete guide video because i cover every option and everything and even tell you some tips and tricks as well on this so first off i'm going to go to ford.com to find the building price for this go to vehicles up there suvs and cars are already highlighted go on over to your ford bronco and it will bring up you'll see here it's 2024 bronco building price is right there click on that and it'll take us into that and we're going to use our zip code here start your build right there so or you can search for inventory as well so that would be 2023 inventory if you want to not wait for a 2024 so here we go we have the different trim levels big ben black diamond heritage outer banks uh, badlands everglades wild track heritage limited edition and raptor it's going to take us a while <laughs> nine videos to cover all these uh but we're coming to the black diamond black diamond starting at 42 630 it's available on two-door or four-door if we go over to four-door you'll notice the price is 43 370 a little more expensive for the four-door version and uh, that's what we'll uh, kind of use for this uh so start our build here so go on in and uh, there is a look at that. We're going to go to powertrain first and cover different uh, options here. You'll notice over here, we're going to talk about what's standard first, and we'll come back to this and talk about options in just a second. The 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine is standard for the Black Diamond trim, but we do have the available 2.7. Again, we'll recover that. Uh, kind of comes standard in the seven speed manual transmission but you do have the option for automatic. So again, we'll talk about that when we get to that information. Auto start stop technology means come to the stoplight stop sign. It's going to shut the vehicle off, let go of the brake. It's going to turn it back on. Little tip on that. If you want it to turn back on, maybe uh, so it's ready to go. If you move the steering wheel or let off the brake just a little, it'll turn that engine back on without you having to press that little deactivate button that is by your climate control or your radio controls, I guess right there also this will come with the standard with the haas 1.0 suspension system it'll have the train management system with different goat modes you have a normal eco sport slippery mud rut sand and for the black diamond you get rock crawl mode as well so this one is your off-road uh capable vehicle somebody doesn't want to break the bank but they want to go off-roading this is, is a nice trim level uh can, it gives you some nice flexibility and capabilities here with this and now with this in here, uh, we'll have electric power assist steering. We call it E-Pass. So electronic control makes, makes it a little bit easier for you to turn that at slower speeds. Also, you do have electronic stability control, electric parking brake as well, and electronic traction control too that can be activated if you need to. 
Hill Start Assist is also uh, going to be available with this. And for your seven-speed manual transmissions, you'll get hill descent control as well. So going up and down those hills kind of helps you out uh, in managing that. Front stabilizer bars also included with this. You'll see it does have the four the four by four with a part-time selectable engagement. So you won't have the auto four by four with this setup here unless you go to one of the packages. We'll talk about that just a little bit. Now, talk about standard gear ratios. Seven-speed manual will come standard. Actually, both the automatic and the manual will come with the 4.46 uh, gear ratio there for you, and it'll come standard with the rear locker. So standard rear locker on this, so you don't have to add that to that package. The 4.7 we'll talk about when we get to the optional packages that are available. So that's all of our mechanical features for you here. So let's go on over and talk about some of the safety features. And all these safety features are the same as they were for the Big Ben trim. So if you did watch that video, again, now is where you can hit that timestamp and move on forward to your exterior features. So you have the driver and passenger dual stage front airbag. It deploys a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. It has a sensor underneath the seat to let you so it knows that. You have a driver and front passenger seat side mounted airbag. It deploys from the side of that seat if you have that side collision and that hits the vehicle. Safety canopy side curtain airbag with rollover sensor. So the airbag is going to come down from the, the side up there. It's going to come down. You'll actually see it'll say side, um, the safety canopy airbag. I think it said side curtain up there on there. So that's going to deploy down. So if you roll over, breaking glass and such would normally come in. It helps, you know, kind of keep that out or at least not come right into the, the passengers. Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So pre-collision does have dynamic brake support. It has um, collision warning and such. So it's going to you know, put a nice red flash up on the screen. Series of tones that you will not miss if there's a vehicle going slower than you and you're going to hit them. Uh, it predetermines that information, preloads the brakes so that when you do hit the brakes, it acknowledges that it's ready to brake and a little bit easier and faster, I should say. Also, if you do have a collision, you do have post-collision braking uh, that'll help brake the vehicle. Sometimes if you're unconscious, right, you don't, you, you may not hit the brake. So it's going to hit and uh, use that post-collision for you. Advanced track with roll stability control as well helps you keep you on your intended path. So maybe it's slick. You're going into that curve too fast, something like that. Use a series of brakes on the, the wheel that it needs to. Uh, apply that so that it can keep you going on your intended path. You do get child safety locks for those four-door models. So those rear doors back there are going to have child safety locks so those kids can't open those when you don't want them to. Also, you do get perimeter alarm. So with the vehicle locked up, it's going to give you a perimeter alarm on the vehicle. So if they you know, vibrate, shake the, the, the fenders and that kind of stuff, it's going to honk the horns, flash the lights, and that kind of stuff. So um, it'll help protect the outside of the vehicle from people getting into it. So that's all of our safety features that I wanted to cover. Probably a few other safety features there that some people would uh, put those in there, but sometimes we slide those in with your exterior and interior features. Uh, so let's move into that. So go on over here, go back to where we were. All right. So talking about this, we do have uh, for, we're going to go on over to this exterior image here and uh, move that over. There we go. So you can see the front of it. So on the front, you will have a, the grill will be a black molded in grill with the white Bronco lettering. Actually, I like this grill. I have a Big Ben uh, 2021 myself, but I switched out for this grill because I like it so much. Uh, so when it says molded in, that means they take that color and they put it in the mold when they make the mold of that grill. So pretty cool grill there. You do have active grill shutters. They're going to open and close. Actually, they look shut in this image. They're going to be right over there uh, in there. So they'll open it up. So they'll help, help that uh, the engine to cool down and allow it to function as best as it can. You'll see the front bumper is a powder coated steel bumper. So this is what they call the capable front bumper. Uh, I do like this one. It does have the shackle design tow hooks up here and your fog lights will be in those bumpers as well. Uh, so you're going to have those uh, up there too. You also get the full vehicle dash plates. Uh, only way you see this is on, you know, this, the Badlands, I think Wild Track as well, where you get the full vehicle da uh, bash plates, uh, which pretty cool. Uh, fender tie down hooks up here. They're on the right up there as well. Uh, those come with all your vehicles. LED headlights, they're automatic featured as well. So LED is so much brighter. You uh, you know, having the auto setting, they come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light as well. You do also have configurable daytime running lights as well. So you can have that set up. That is something you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. 
You also do get mentioned already LED fog lights and you also get auto high beams too. So auto high beams work like, like your automatic headlights. Uh, but if it's dark enough outside, those high beams will come on automatic, automatically. If someone approaches you or in the city lights, it's going to automatically turn them off. That is also a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle settings screen. Now let's move around to the side. I think this is the one I want. There you go. Um, maybe. There we go. That's the side one I want. Uh, we do have the 17-inch black high-gloss painted alloy wheel. No steel wheel this year. Highlighted that in my What's Different for This Year video. Uh, this is your standard wheel and the only wheel you can get without going up to the Sasquatch package. So, hope you like it. Uh, we do have the tires is a P265 70 R17 all-terrain tire. 32 inch is going to be standard on this. Individual tire pressure and monitoring system for all four of those tires, as well as four wheel disc brakes with ABS is also included for you. Fender flares are going to be the black molded in, just like on the black or the big bend trim, I should say. We do get side rock rails. Can't really see it in this image. In fact, it's not actually showing it on there. Um, yeah, it's not showing it on, on any of the images. No? Okay. So the images are incorrect on this. So this is where going through these is important. Uh, the Black Diamond will have side rock rails on those, our standard equipment uh, for this. So you'll have those. That's one, another thing that I really like. I actually added those to my Bronco as well. So you're going to have those on there to help protect it from, you know, if you're going off-roading and such like that. Side view mirrors are power and heated glass, manual folding, and it does have the integrated spotter mirror. So that's that angled mirror in the corner. So you can see the vehicles in your blind spot a little bit better. Molded in black door handles. Uh, also, you're going to see that on your mirror caps. Uh, so again, just like your grill, fender flares, and such, same material here on the door handles too. Remote keyless entry. So you can use that keyless entry to unlock and lock the vehicle. Now, for your two doors, you will have a hard top. So it is the hard carbonized gray molded in hard top. Uh, we got the four door design here. Uh, now that also the two door will have the sound deadening headliner as well. Be standard equipment as well as rear defrost and the washer on the back. Um, rear wiper, I should say, I believe. And then also you're going to get storage bag for those front two panels for the tour door, two doors. Now for the four doors, it comes standard with your cloth top. Uh, we'll have options for hardtop, and we'll talk about that later, but claw top will be standard on this. Uh, we also get the wiring, uh, the prep kit wiring for the rear def for the defrost and your uh, washer there. Privacy glass on these uh, back windows and the darker on these back windows as well and back glass, same way for the two-door. E uh, easy fuel capless filler door. You can kind of see that door there. Push it open, no cap to, loo to leave behind, get your hands dirty, anything like that. Uh, you do have the, when you go to the rear, we have a rear wiper on the on the two doors. Uh, you will have that. So any hard tops, you'll have a rear wiper back there and rear defrost. Uh, spare tire carrier, as you can see right here. So full-size spare back there with tire pressure monitoring system. You'll see you'll have a, a brake light back there. I like to call it the third brake light. Uh, also, you'll have, uh, you'll have halogen tail lights as well on this uh, right here in the back. So halogen on these. And also you get the center high mounted stoplight that I mentioned. Also rear view camera that's going to come out right here with the grid lines. And you'll have the rear bumper that is powder coated steel back here. So a little bit different than your uh, big bin trim. Tow hook as well back here. So you have one of those back there in the back. And you're going to have the trailer tow prep package with trailer sway control. This is different than last year. So we assume it includes wiring. I assume four pin wiring is included with this. Uh, and we'll talk about tow package in just a little bit. And we get to optional equipment. In the inside the cargo area, you're going to have a PowerPoint as well, as well as a rear cargo area light too back there. And underneath the car, the flooring, you'll have some storage under there as well there for you. Now, moving to the interior, get an image of that. You have illuminated entry system. Uh, so you're going to have that on there. So you're going to be able to see inside. I believe that's going to light up your, uh, right up here for you. Uh, you do get carpeted floor mats. So they will get the, um, for this, you're going to get the washout interior here. I don't have it in my notes. There it is. Uh, rubberized flooring with the washout uh, drain plugs. Uh, or washout interior with the drain plugs. Sorry. Uh, read my notes instead of paying attention. Also, you're going to get carpet floor mats for the front seat as well, whether it be two-door or four-door there. Now the seats are going to be marine grain vinyl bucket seats. 
six-way manual driver and front passenger goes forward and back lever underneath you can see levers over here uh, that'll go up and down for those seats and then the this one over here is your recline for those seats uh, now in the back seat the two doors will get uh 50 50 split fold seats here the four doors will get a 60 40 split fold with the recline for those molly strap system as well on the back of those uh those front seats uh, so that's going to come included on any of your uh, vehicles with vinyl seats. Lat system as well, lower anchors and tethers for children, where you can uh, safely uh, fasten those front and rear facing car seats into those uh, assist those harnesses there, as well as the, the harness on the back of those for those front facing car seats. Uh, we do have, moving here, let's go to a different image here. You're going to have your power wind doors. Uh, door locks are going to be over here on the doors for you with uh, auto lock, auto unlock. You also power window switches uh, as well are going to be right there on the console. They'll be for the rear seat. Uh, ones for the four doors are going to be behind the console as well. And now the instrument panel here uh, is going to be an eight inch uh, digital cluster here for you. Uh, you're going to also have your manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. There's a lever underneath that'll go up and down, forward and back for you. So you can get it just right. Then the wrap steering wheel, standard equipment here. We got cruise control as well. You're gonna can be able to control on the steering wheel. Uh, also, D-pad there for your productivity screen as well to be able to control that. Push button start. You'll see it right back behind there. Also, single zone climate control uh, for this is gonna be standard equipment. AM/FM stereo with seven speakers, including the subwoofer. Sirius XM satellite radio with 360L. So it's gonna have those listener profiles and super categories for you as well. So that's gonna come with that standard equipment. You also notice standard equipment, 12 inch touchscreen for this year. So upgrades from an eight to a 12 inch standard equipment on all of your Broncos for this year, giving the conversational voice command recognition system, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, all gonna be included with that. And uh, so nice upgrade there for you and the information on demand as well right there. Um, for your rear view uh, mirror, they're going to have a day night mirror. So you just flip that lever if you uh, in that situation where those cars come behind you with those bright lights. Um, now, standard on this, we're going to go to 360 view so you can actually see uh, up above. Auxiliary switches are standard equipment for the black diamond trim here with pre run wiring. Those are actually going to be inside the engine bay. I've wired my lights. I know exactly where those are at. Real easy to be able to, to, to plug those in if you have um, light bars ditch lights, anything like that, winches, that kind of thing that you want to wire in there for you. Overhead console uh, for that. Um, normally you'd have um, that. I do have these visors that flip down uh, for you and uh, see sliding vanity. They will actually slide and come around. And then down here on the console, up here, you got hero switches up here. Rear locker will be right here uh, for you. Actually, traction controls up there. The it's actually missing the one for the rear locker. It's just kind of funny. Uh, down here, you'll see this is a manual. So you're going to have that manual transmission there. Seven speed, including a granny gear right there. Uh, your goat modes are right back there as well for you. And uh, so, and then your switches are right here. Have a console bin right there to be able to store some things in right there as well uh, for you. And I think down in here, you're going to see, can't really see it in this image. I uh, should see some USB ports down there and your media bin uh, type A and C in there for you. So there you go. Uh, glove, block, glove box that locks up for you. Um, so for stores in there, and that's where you're going to probably see your toolkit. Uh, so you're going to get one to be able to take those fender flares off and uh, your your doors and such like that, your hard tops and all that, that'll work for that. Um, and then you're also going to get the uh, trail map. So they're calling it Bronco Trail app. You still get the four pass connect. So you can allow you to stay connected to the vehicle using that app. Uh, so you can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, remote start your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start time, see the fuel, the tire pressure on your tires, which you can do in the Bronco Trail app as well. Uh, your, your fuel that you have in it, where it's located, all that through that app. And the Bronco Trail app allows you to see some of the Bronco trails and uh, see, get, be, able to get, be able to do some cool things with that. That is now included uh, for this year that came about uh, halfway through last year. So there you go. That's all the standard equipment with the exception of colors. Let's go through the colors real quick here for us so you can see the different color options for this year. So they did discontinue the Area 51 for this year, so it's no longer available. But otherwise, we have the same colors as, as last year. So we have Shadow Black available, as you can see there. Also Oxford White available. Kind of see what that looks like. Uh, I believe this is Cactus Gray. 
pretty close uh, to the color. Um, a little, maybe a little more green than it, what it looks like in person. Depends on when that light hits it. Carbonized or iconic silver right here. Uh, carbonized gray also uh, pretty popular color. We do also have race red, as my friend, as my friend Rachel says, race red turns heads. Uh, we do have eruption green metallic as well. And then we do have hot pepper red uh, tinted metallic. You'll notice that costs a little extra. It's $4.95 for that color uh, as well. So because it is a tinted clear coat, we do have velocity blue. So nice color there. One of my favorites as well. And then we do have azure gray metallic. That is a tri-coat, three coats of paint. Some nice metallic comes through. It is a little extra for that because of the three coats of paint. Uh, that kind of took, not really took over because last year we had Area 51 in this color. But for this year, uh, no longer you see Area 51. So there are colors for this year. Now let's go ahead and start talking about different packages. So we're going to click on packages here and kind of go through these and kind of break these out. So there is uh, everything we've talked about so far is, inclu is included in that standard package. 321A is that uh, equipment group there. Um, but there is this mid package, 322A equipment group, 1645 for that. And it includes some nice convenience features on the vehicle. So you are going to get the two door intelligent access with lock unlock. So that means that you can have that key fob in your pocket. You just walk up, put your hands in the front doors, and it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle. There's a little button on the outside of those front doors. You just press it. Uh, it's going to lock the vehicle. Make sure you don't have your hand in when you press that or else it won't lock it. And then the rear hatch also. The swing gate also has it. So that's really nice. You can come up. You don't have to go up to the front doors, unlock it. Uh, you can just come into the back one. There's also another button on that one. You'll see it. Put your hands in there. Auto unlock so you can get into the rear of it without having to use your remote and that kind of thing, which is really nice. Also gives you um, the push button start as well. Uh, well, no, never mind. We already have that as a standard equipment. Uh, I'm used to saying those in, together on some models. You, those go hand in hand. But this one has intelligent access. Nice feature to have. Really is. You don't have to get the keys out of your pocket. Also, this is where your climate con control goes from a single zone to a dual zone electronic automatic temperature control, which means that, that you can set it up for a left side and a right side for your temperature. So I always call that the marriage saver. So you get that sun coming in and she wants it cooler. And I'm cold because I got the shade. All right. So uh, that's uh, that's uh, the nice dual zone climate control. Uh, ambient uh, footwell lighting. So when you get in, the, the lighting is just the overhead console, just two little lights. Uh, I actually call them map pocket lights. That's how dim they are. Uh, but you have the ambient foot lighting. That's going to be ice blue. It's going to light up the foot wheels as well. As well. Anyway. <laughs> So also behind the console, you're going to get an outlet. So this is where you get that 110 outlet, you know, your three prong plug in. So you can plug that in and uh, people can get on the computers, whatever else. Or if you have, you know, other things you want to uh, plug in back there, like coolers or something like that. And you want it in the back seat for you instead of clearing the back in the cargo area. There's how you would do that. Uh, auto dimming rear view mirror. So no longer that rear view mirror has a little lever under there. It actually auto dims. So you don't have to adjust it at all. Those cars come right but come up behind you with those bright lights. You don't have to worry about it. The front row get heated seats. So the driver and front passenger will have heated seats now with those vinyl seats. That's also included. Also, we have illuminated uh, sliding vanity mirrors. So those mirror, those little flip down, those, uh, those little vanity, uh, you know what I'm talking about. The, you flip those down visors. That's what I'm looking for. Um, it's right there. Um, they're going to be illuminated now with mirrors on them. So there you go. Also, here's where you get remote start, which is available on your automatic transmissions. So it'll remote start the vehicle uh, just by pressing the remote. So you don't have to use the app necessarily to do that. Also, reverse sensing system. So as you're backing up, it's going to alert you if you get too close to anything. Also, um, here normally, this is not correct for this year, is you get the in the enhanced upgraded sync four with the enhanced voice recognition system, but that's already coming with this. And you also get the Ford Copilot 360 features. That's going to be your lane keeping system as well as your bliss system, right? So that way you can be if someone come behind you with those uh, getting your blind spot there, it's going to light that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. So you lose instead of getting a little corner mirror. 
the angled mirror. Now it's going to be, you're going to get that mirror instead. Also, as you're backing up, someone crosses your path behind you is going to let you know and warn you of that too. And then also your lane keeping system. This is going to help you keep you in your lane. So it has a lane departure warning. So it comes has the alert system. So it'll let you leave your lane, but it'll vibrate that steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. Whereas the aid system will help keep you in your lane. So we'll get over to those lines and try to keep you in your lane. Uh, you can use those together if you want. What it'll do is when you get over the line, you know, vibrate the steering wheel, but still keep you in your lane. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, you're going to get a driver alert feature with this. Means if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often, it's going to let you know that. It'll let you know, hey, maybe you need to pull over and get some coffee. Also, you'll notice uh, this is actually not up updated for this year. Um, kind of funny uh we do have connected navigation instead of a 90-day trial like it was last year this year you get one year as part of this package so that's that's a nice upgrade for this year so make sure i get all my notes right in case they miss something else um review camera where i mentioned um that's part of the copilot 360 reverse sensing uh, looks like we got everything else in here um and the connected nav is for one year i want to double check that so that is all correct so again 1645 is a pretty good cost for that um for all the features you get I, and again we see that package with the big Ben trim uh, and even included in some of the other trims so this is a nice little package you can get now another package is the sasquatch package so this package here uh, is $8,160. And this package here is where you're going to get the advanced four wheel drive with the automatic on demand engagements. So that's your auto four by four button there. So that's going to come with that. This is where you get your front and rear locker as well. And this is gets you the upgraded shocks. So this is gets you the Haas 2.0 suspension system that position sensitive Bilstein shock absorbers that are going to come included with that. Also, you get upgraded with the 4.7 final drive ratio with the front and rear locker. As I mentioned just, just a second ago, you get the front locker. And now you get that upgraded as well. And then you're going to get upgraded. This is not the wheel you actually get. This is your this is your wild track wheel. Uh, you're going to get an upgraded 17-inch uh, uh, black um, gloss painted alloy wheel with the warm alloy beauty rings. So they're more of a gray look or an alloy look to them for those rings. So it's a B-lock capable wheel there. Also gonna get the high clearance suspension system and you're gonna get the wider fender flares. I like to call them the Sasquatch fender flares anyway, but you get the high clearance wider fender flares because you're gonna get a B for wider tire, uh, which brings me to that. It is an LT 215-70R17 mud terrain tire that comes with this 35 inch tire, gives you more clearance. Uh, and such. And so again, you can see that is available on your Big Ben, Black Diamond, and Outer Banks and Badline trims. Um, and then it's included in some of these other trim levels. So there you go. That is another package you can get. Again, that's the only optional wheel. So, and you, you look at the wheels uh, on these, uh, you can see what that wheel is going to look like. So you click on that. It's not what you say, saw earlier. So it is going to be this wheel, as you can see right there. So pretty cool in how that looks. Uh, but that does require the Sasquatch package for that wheel and we just covered okay there we go and then moving down i want to uh, kind of talk about this this copilot 360 is part of your mid package in fact if you select the mid package it'll show you and select that one as well so there you go it's included but the trailer tow package let's talk about this package for a second because i want to make sure everybody knows this is not going to be put on at the factory the trailer tow package for this year is now a dealer installed package one of the reasons you get that trailer tow prep kit is the pre-wiring so that the dealer can put the hitch on and I think add the seven pin wiring harness to that. Uh, so that's how that's going to be done. So $500. So um, some people are like, well, I can add a hitch for a lot less if it already has the wiring. Uh, yes, but I believe this is where we get the seven pin wiring. No explanation yet exactly what's included, uh, but we assume it is because the picture does show the seven pin and four pin wiring and the hitch. So we're not sure if the prep package gives you just the four pin wiring or if it doesn't, if it's just pre-wired. I'm assuming pre-wired and then by going to this package, you get both four pin and seven pin wiring with the hitch uh, would be my assumption there. So, but I want to make sure everybody knows that is a dealer installed option, not a factory installed option when you add it. So by adding it should not, will not delay your build any like it has in the past. Now making having the dealers put that on for you. And that way you don't have to pay for any install fee for that. Uh, great for you, bad for the dealers, <laughs> right? Uh, which is okay, right? All right. So moving on, let's talk about uh, done with uh, packages here. Let's talk about some standalone options. And to do that, let's first 
start covering some of the powertrain things and some of the upgrades. First off, we do have the optional engine is the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 engine. That is $2,145, but also includes the cost of going to the, to the automatic transmission, which we must have selected when we went to something. So um, anyway, so uh, let's go back to the manual. I just want to kick over and get rid of some things. There we go. Um, so, so mid package in here is showing that. So let's just double check our notes here. I don't believe you need to go to the mid package to get that anymore. So you can get the two, three manual transmission. Yep. Manual transmission is only available on the, is not available with the mid package. So it's only available on the standard package. So if you go to the mid package, you will be required to go to automatic transmission as well. That's why you're seeing that it's $3,600 here. It's because you have to go automatic, which is 1800 plus then the $1,600 package for the mid package. So make sure people want to know the difference on that. Uh, so we're going to actually kick off of that, so take off that mid package. Uh, but also, if you do want the standard package, not the mid package, but you want automatic, it is $2,000 for that. So make, make you aware of that. Now, going to the 2.7 also will require the automatic transmission. So 2.7 liter is not available at the seven speed. You'll notice it kicks on over and gives you a increase of 4140. So you have to add for the 27 and you add for the automatic. So make sure you know the price breakdown of that. So that is that setup as well right there. Uh, so let's go and go yes. Now moving down again, 4.7 is uh, gear ratio is available. That is what you get when you go to the Sasquatch package. So want to make sure everybody knows on the standard equipment when it comes to the powertrain options right there. Not available. You cannot get the uh, the advanced four wheel drive without going to Sasquatch package on the Black Diamond trip. So there you go. So now we're going to go ahead and break down and going to go over some of these um, different um, packages or standalone options here, starting with your exterior features. Now, as we go through these options, I just want to clarify. I will let you know if these are factory installed options or if they're dealer install options, just so you have a breakdown between those. Uh, and Ford likes to break out freestanding options versus accessories, because a lot of the accessories are things they just put in the vehicle and when they ship it. Um, so we'll kind of go over those as we go through these. And I'm gonna check them off as we go along. I wanna make sure we get everything in case Ford is missing anything off of here. So first off, some of the roof options that we have here, we do have this top, uh, and I'll click on these eyes on all these so you can see them. So you can see that top uh, retractable. That is a uh, full twill soft uh, top up here. So this is available. And it's saying it's, uh, I believe it's saying it's not available with a cloth top. Um, so it is something that you would want to add if you want like the hard top. All right. And it's showing you right down here. This, this is a dealer installed option. Um so the microphone makes it a little hard for me to see. So um, we will uh, kind of cover that one there. So you have that as an option. So there are some some different things there. Kind of tells you a little bit about it as a Sunrider uh, feature there. And uh, pretty nice. I kind of like it. It kind of gives it a, a fastback look. And that's the best stop um, top there for you. We do have this mesh shade up here. So that's pretty cool. You can have that. Uh, that, I believe, is best stop as well. It says not available with the soft uh, black cloth top. Is something you can get with the hardtop. Also, dealer installed option. Uh, I will tell you this: uh, I actually put that on my Bronco with the cloth top, so I know it's it can be put on with that. So that is also something that you might want to get later, because again, these are accessories you can get through Ford Accessories website and put them on your vehicle later if you want. So again, it's shipped separately and uh, from from the vehicle for the dealer to install that for you. So uh, there you go. That's a mesh up there, which is pretty cool. So a mesh allows for the air to kind of come through still. Uh, which is what I liked about it. So it gives you some shade from the sun, but still allows for airflow through. So you just still get that uh, that airflow feeling kind of. There you go. And we do have the top, the canvas, uh, soft canvas Benemy top. So this in here, uh, there you go. And I believe this one doesn't have the mesh where it can come through. So that's where that's different. This, again, is a dealer installed option and saying it's not available with your cloth top um, for you there. So uh, that is an option, even though it will work with it. Um, the reason they say it won't is because when you put it on and you put clamp everything in and everything, then you can't get to your hooks for your cloth top. Um, but you can just flip those actually unbuckle and you can move, flip them in and then you can latch them and put them on, uh, which is what I do. So not too bad of a deal there. So there you go. Um, so that's available. Again, these are through available through Ford Accessories website. And we do have this one here that's uh, available with your hard top. You can see there. So this is pretty cool. 
Uh, it is a retractable front row twill soft. It is a by best stop, I believe, as well. Deal installed option again on this one, too. They'll take this two panels off, put it on for you, uh, or give it to you if you want to just do it later. Uh, not available with your soft top for that reason. So uh, there you go. And again, available through Ford Accessories later if you want to, if you don't want to have that done that way. So uh, those are our options for that. Uh, I haven't been checking all these off. So anyway, all right, moving on down, we do have the hard top. So if you have a four-door version, $18.95, you can upgrade to the four-door hard top. I will say this could slow your chances down of getting produced, but I don't think it'll slow down too much. We've seen a lot of them still being made. So gives you uh, the two uh, pieces up here are separate. So it's two separate pieces for the front row, one full one for the back row. So uh, there you go. And, uh, of course, uh, the piece on the back, uh, rear defrost and rear washer back there, too. You'll notice the rear wiper, uh, which they don't always mention. And you also get storage bags for those front two panels that you can store those on the vehicle. So, all right, fully removable. You can use your toolkit and everything. So there you go. Those are available for you as a uh, hard top. Also, you can go dual top. So this, of uh, course, is only available with your cloth top versions. For, or only available for your uh, four-door, I should say, where you're going to get the cloth top is going to be shipped inside the vehicle for you to be able to put on when you want, and it'll come with the hard top installed. Uh, so that is nice as well. Dual top is something that they kind of teased in the first year and finally brought it back last year and is a very popular 25-45 for that option. And we do also have the roof rails with the crossbars. It requires hard top, of course. Um, to get that. So that is also something that's put on the vehicle. Uh, it does say, let's see, get, keep these uh, parameters here. Let me actually look at my notes here. Uh, dual tops don't require uh, the hard, the um, four door, of course. And then uh, the dual tops, where was that at? So they, again, they these are, uh, shows it deal, under the deal installed options. That's it, I think. So I'm not seeing it now. Oh, there it is. Dual tops. And then, um, yeah, so the roof rack rails here is what we're looking for. Um, so that one there does note here uh, requires uh, on two door hard top, of course, or the four door with the hard top or dual top. Don't forget that. And uh, nothing else. Sometimes there's some requirements. So these are all these options, but by the way, are available on both the standard package as well as your mid package. So keep that in mind. Now, Let's talk about this front bumper up here, the Ford Performance Heavy Duty Modular Front Bumper. Uh, so that, uh, kind of wish I had it on mine right now, gives you the steel bash plate up here. Uh, so this is optional equipment for you. Um, and uh, so pretty cool in how that looks. They consider that a, an accessory, I believe. But that is a, a nice uh, front bumper for you. And uh, we'll delete your LED fog lights. Keep that in mind uh, if you go that route. So you will lose that. But there's some pretty cool options to add. Uh, for those if you want those now the body uh, moving down here we do get the full vehicle steel uh, bash plates body armor protective moldings so there you go uh, there you go you can see that on those corners it'll be on the front corners as well those are pretty cool those again can be installed later they are actually a dealer installed option so the dealer would put them on anyway for you and something you can add later. We did that for a customer because these are not available with the Sasquatch package and they're not available with the body appearance kit. Um, so this is something you can always get later. So go Sasquatch if you want. Talk to your dealership about having it installed. They can get it through Ford Accessories website and put it on after your vehicle comes in. So that would be the way to, of doing that. Um, and then we do have the, the next one down here is the Fender Flare Kit. Um, it says body style steel. I don't, uh, so I think that... Uh, Upgrades this a little bit um, for it. So there you go, Fender Flare Kit. Um, so these here, available on the Big Ben, Black Diamond, Outer Banks, uh, and some of those that get non that are non-Sasquatch. So, um, so there you go. So powder-coated uh, finish to that. Uh, there you go. So not available with Sasquatch package because it gets its own Fender Flare and everything. Not available with Splash Guards or your Body Appearance Kit. Uh, keep that in mind too. These are dealer installed options. So the dealership would install that for you. So uh, I think I got all the, all those options for that. There you go. Moving down, we do have the tube doors. Very popular as well. These are also a dealer installed option. They'll probably put it, keep it in your vehicle for you. Um, actually, it might be under the accessories options. 
but tube doors are pretty uh, pretty cool, especially if you want to take the doors off and have that open air feeling, but you don't want to feel like you're, you're, you're going to fall out. Tube doors are pretty popular for those people, so they require four doors on this. Um, this is the, the four-door version here. Uh, so there you go. That's available. And then we do have the body appearance kit. So you'll see this one gets you the hood scoop up here and uh, get you some other accents to it. So hood scoop, uh, you do get the retro style Bronco look. You get the door moldings, uh, fender flares. Uh, and so a little bit different kit there for you. So this body appearance kit. Actually, I haven't seen one uh, on any of the vehicles. With, nobody's ordered one of these. Uh, but this is not available with the Sasquatch package or your splash guards or your body armor protective moldings. Uh, keep that in mind right there, too. Now, one to, I, I wanted to check on something. So don't forget, uh, we are just seeing the two doors, the four-door version here. Uh, but you do there is a two-door version as well. So if you have two-door, you can get the two doors as well. Uh, it's just we're actually on the four-door configuration. That's why we're not seeing that. So just something to note there. we got a couple different tire, spare tire covers. Again, you can get these through Ford Accessories or put them on your build. Um, either way, uh, they'll come in. The dealer would install those if you do get it uh, afterwards. So a couple, a couple different designs there for you. You do have the Bronco on the back. If you like that one, or we do have... Uh, oops, that's the Bronco in the back. Um, then we have the Bronco 66, established in 1966 cover. And then we do have this other, this the Ford on there. So a couple different options for you for wheel covers. Now those are for the 32 inch, the stock wheel. Uh, if you go Sasquatch, then you cannot get those. So just keep that in mind as well. Not available to Sasquatch package on those. Uh, we do have the removable hoop step. Uh, so that would change out your rock rails. So uh, this is available on all series, available on two-door and four-door, and removes your standard rock rails. So you get rock rails normally. They're kind of, these are more rounded, and then you can put the steps on there, but the steps can be removed if you're going off-road. So that also is something that's pretty cool, and uh, that is a factory-installed option. If you decide to go that route, they'll just put that one on instead of the um, rock rails. Now, the brush guard, this one does require this right there, does require the modular front bumper, so you'll need to have that. Uh, that is available. Um, so not available with I'm just checking these out. Make sure we get these covered. Uh, not available with the Black Diamond and with the Sasquatch package. So we are on Black Diamond now. So keep that in mind. So I uh, wasn't aware of that. So you can get the uh, Sasquatch package and you can get the modular front bumper. For some reason, you can't get the brush guard on there. I think it has to do with weight, something like that. So you can get this later through Ford Accessories and just add it yourself. Real easy to install. All right. Then we do have the moving down. Where are we at? Front license plate bracket. If you're in a state that doesn't require front license plate, then it's optional equipment. So you want to make sure you order that if you want that front license plate. Wheel lock kit. This is a dealer installed option. So they'll send you uh, one lug nut for each wheel, including your spare, to protect it so people don't steal those from you. And uh, the dealer would install those for you when the vehicle comes in. Uh, there you go. That's how that works. And then we do also have this uh, engine block heater. That is a factory installed option. So if you live outside, uh, dead of winter, really cold outside, you'd want to add this to your build so that you can get it, uh, so you can warm, keep it warm over uh, overnight and such like that. All right, moving down to interior options here. We do have, uh, some of these are included in some of the different packages, why you don't see a cost there. We do have the cargo area protector. I'm not showing an image of that. That's going to be basically your all-weather floor liner in the back. So that's cargo area protector, kind of protects it. Um, that is a going to come from the factory. They'll put it in the vehicle. This is not available with the Sasquatch package or your slide out tailgate. Uh, so that's something, again, if you want if either one of those, go through Ford Accessories and get it later. We do have a couple different assistance kits, an on-road and an off-road assistance kit. You can see the price on those. Uh, those are available. Uh, dealer installed option because the dealer will throw those in there when it comes in. So they'll just ship it to the dealership instead of putting it in the vehicle for you. So there you go. A couple different options there. Um, and then we have a first aid kit as well. So first aid kit, also a dealer installed option. They'll send it to the dealership, ship it in, and the dealership will put it in the vehicle for you. Typically, they'll put it in the bag that it comes with. So each one will come with a, uh, a bag. They'll put them in there for you uh, nice and neat for you. So, all right, 
A couple different other options, floor liners. These are Ford accessories, but will come with the vehicle when it is shipped. Um, pricing, or uh, one of these prices is incorrect. So we do have the one with the, the carpeted mats. So you get floor liners front and rear with the front floor mats. That would be one two hundred dollars, um, and then the one without the carpeted mats will be one sixty. So a couple of different options there for you. Uh, if you never use a front car floor mats like me, you get the one without. Right. All right. Slide out tailgate. So this is also optional equipment for you. So you can get that in there. It does require it to be a four door, um, and also not available with a Sasquatch package. Not available with the dual tops. Uh, I think the dual tops is because when they ship the dual tops, they put it in the back and maybe they think it's won't fit in there. It should. I don't know why they won't, but slide out tailgate uh, can be available. If you want to install it later, uh, you can do that as well. So that is going to be installed at the factory, by the way, uh, cargo net kit. So you can kind of see what that looks like right there. Uh, of course, this also it's available. It's a dealer installed option. Well, is it? wait a minute. I guess it is a dealer installed option. So it's in here as a dealer installed option. So they'll ship it to the dealer. Not available to Sasquatch package for some reason. So get it through Ford Accessories then if you want Sasquatch package. Don't feel like because you have Sasquatch and you want some of these, a lot of these things are available through Ford Accessories and you can just get it later and go ahead and order your Sasquatch package. A cargo area rug is another one of those. Not available to Sasquatch package um, on the Black Diamond for some reason. Um, so you can get that. So that's going to give you that rug back there again, get it afterwards and put it in the vehicle yourself, uh, would be my, my take on that. So there you go. Uh, we do have storage bags for the doors. Uh, so you do have an option for that. So this is going to give you for the doors. Now, again, uh, this is the four door version. If you do get the, um, this says requires four door and cloth tops. Um, so, uh, storage bags there. So let me actually read this. This is actually going to come with the vehicle from the factory. So storage bags for the doors, uh, requires four door and requires soft top. Uh, so now they with the hard top, there's actually a different version for the hard top, by the way. That's why it says this on here. Cause we also have one for the front row, two panels and the doors. So you would go with that route. That's why it's the same price on these. Uh, if you look at this, so you have. Uh, this one right here, you'll know the same price. Well, why is that? Because you already get the two panels next year. You're supposed to be standard equipment. But if you have a hard top, you would just select that option instead of the, the one without the front panels. Comes in, kind of, if that makes sense. Tailgate table is also uh, something that uh, I believe that's a dealer installed option. Um, so tailgate table, yep. It requires four door uh, for some reason. Not available with the slide out tailgate either. So if you want one or the other, just get the other one as an accessory through Ford Accessories and install it yourself or have the dealership install it for you when it gets to the dealership. Uh, so there you go. Um, let's see, where is that at? All right there. And then we do have this storage bags for the second row panel. So for your four-door hard tops, if you want one for that full middle panel, uh, you would get this to, to help protect it. So that way you can put it in the garage and it doesn't bang it up and get it, um, you know, for falls, that kind of stuff. You got to protect it that way. So. Uh, that is also, um, I believe that is a dealer installed option for some reason, but the, so ship to the dealer, dealer will put it in the vehicle. Now we do have a console vault here. So this is available. Uh, so available on your black diamond, it says not available with, yeah, make sure, oh, with the, with the Sasquatch package. So this is not available with the Sasquatch package. So again, some of these have some little quirks and what they're available with. And, um, this happens to be one of them that if you order Sasquatch, you can't get it. So get it later. And have the dealership install it again work with your dealer to get some of these things that you want that aren't available with the sasquatch or with certain other configurations um we did that with a customer uh you know he wanted uh, i think he got a sasquatch um um outer banks and so but he wanted the protective moldings and such so not a problem the hoop steps so not a problem we ordered sasquatch when it came in we added those to his vehicle when it came in so that's the easy way to doing it have the dealership do that for you I'm not sure the reasoning on some of those with the Sasquatch package, but that's just something to take note of. And I just want to make a last uh, cruise through my notes. looks like we got everything covered here for you. So I think we've covered all of our standard equipment as well as the different packages, uh, equipment groups, standalone options, all in this video. So hopefully we did uh, get everything for you and we satisfied that. Again, thank you uh, for watching this video. Hopefully you liked it. Smash the like button if you did. Don't forget the order banks are open up right now. So if you want to order a 2024 Ford Bronco Black Diamond, 
go into your local dealership uh, and go ahead and order one. A couple of different, I'll give you some tips right now when you're going in and placing that order with your dealership is find about that pricing now. So you're ordering a vehicle, it could take a couple months for it to come in, maybe even up to six months for it to come in. If you order a Sasquatch, hardtop, four door, that kind of thing, uh, it could take a little longer. So because of that, you want to make sure your dealership knows a little bit about what the price is going to be when that vehicle comes in. Uh, maybe I even ask them if they know how price protection works. Can you can you explain that to me and make sure they know how that works and you get that in writing that yes they are going to protect it to the price it is when you order the vehicle because ford will protect that for the customer as long as the customer that orders it is the customer that buys it they're going to reimburse the dealership back the difference of any price increase that happens from the time they ordered it from the time it comes in so make sure they know a little bit about that also you might want to make sure you ask them about any kind anything else they're going to add to the vehicle afterwards uh, find out what their dealer fee is going to be. Get that all that all that information down in writing ahead of time because you're ordering this vehicle. And when it comes in, you want to be able to take delivery of that. So um, make sure they know what's going on so you have nothing hidden up front when the vehicle comes in uh, is what I would uh, suggest you do. So, again, hopefully this, these tips help you out. Also, if you do want to order with us, we do have a pretty good amount of allocations for this year. And we do have available orders. So if you do want to order with us, you're not going to have to wait. Uh, we don't have uh, many carryover orders from last year. I think maybe just some heritage editions. So if you're looking at a non-heritage, should not be an issue for you to get one, especially if you're looking at Black Diamond. And we are doing MSRP pricing on all of our Black Diamond Broncos if on an ordered vehicle. So uh, if you want to order one from us, you're going to get MSRP pricing. Uh, the only thing we add, we do have a dealer fee of $4.95 that we uh, add to all of our vehicles. And we don't add any accessories or aftermarket things to our vehicles as a requirement. Uh, if you want it, great. If not, we will not add that to the price of your vehicle. Um, and we do have a special a YouTube offer that we have, and that is we're going to give you free shipping up to $1,000 of free shipping or travel expenses if you finance a vehicle with us. So you plan to finance a vehicle anyway, uh, work with us. And uh, if you want it shipped to you, we can do that. We'll cover the first $1,000 of the shipping cost. Or if you want to come pick it up, which a lot of people are doing, and uh, be able to pick that vehicle up. We'll, we'll cover flights, hotels, and uh, gas, uh, getting you back, um, that kind of thing, up to $1,000 of your travel expenses. If you want to make a trip of it, pick the vehicle up and drive it home as your first trip. Uh, yes, you can drive these uh, on the highway right away. Uh, there's no break-in period on these, so you can do that. So if you want to take us up on that offer, make sure you let them know when you call us to uh, order your vehicle that you saw the YouTube special and you want to get that YouTube special so that we can document that and everything and uh, have that on your vehicle. So there you go. Uh, that is everything here in this video. Hope you did like it. Again, smash the like button. I really appreciate it. If you like videos like this and you want to keep watching these videos, uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you have that bell notification turned on so that way you don't miss a single video and you can get the next one when we cover that. And until the next time, don't forget to stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you on that next video. Oh,